I have had quite a journey in this NYX Face Awards adventure. From the first entry with my grotesque look where NYX picked me to be one of the top 30 and for this I'm forever grateful. In the first challenge, the theme was Nordic Tales. I made my own version of the Kraken and I got to figure out how to create epic tentacles. I really loved both the theme and my look. Top 15. This was a tricky theme, graffiti. It felt like a really tough challenge and I had to put my creative mind at full speed. I ended up with a color splashing makeup look and with your love and support and votes I ended up here. The first ever NYX Nordic Face Awards final. I am so thankful both to you NYX for picking me in the first place and to you the amazing LMAX followers. I hope you love my drop dead gorgeous final look. Thanks to all of your votes, I made it to the top 5 and this is my drop dead gorgeous look for the first ever Nordic NYX Face Awards final. For my drop dead gorgeous look, I wanted to make something that you wouldn't expect from me. So there's a lot more body painting, non-SFX non makeup things going on and I made this headpiece all by myself and I will show you how I made how it looks. And before all of you start commenting, oh my god, those lenses are so cool, so cool. How can you see? Can you see? <gasps> I can't see poop. I am blind as a bat. Nada. But yes, they are cool. And now, all of you some bitches, stay put. Here comes the tutorial. <gasps> this tutorial has a skill level between intermediate and ninja, depending on your body painting skills. It took me one hour to one and a half to prepare the headpiece and application time about one and a half to two hours. For this look you'll need a headband, broken jewelry, wire thick and thin, a feather boa, white body paint, fake blood, runny and clotted, and a creative mind. To your right you'll see a list of the NYX products I've used. Welcome to the first part of the tutorial. I'm gonna start off by building a headpiece or a crown or something close to that because I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do. I've just picked out a lot of stuff that I've kept at home because I'm kind of like a hamster. I'm just keeping stuff that I might use someday, sometime, I don't know. So we'll see where this takes us, but I'm going to start off with a with an old headband and wire. I want my headpiece to have some height, so I'm making loops in different sizes. On these loops, I will attach pieces of broken necklaces, earrings, or whatever I have. This skull piece is a part of a phone case that I just couldn't throw out. So lucky little hamstering me for having this. <laughs> Using a thinner wire, I'm making a wall kind of to attach stuff to. And this is a piece of an earring and some more skulls. I found a perfect piece to put in the center. And for a more goth twist, I have this lace mask that I cut up and it fits perfect and I will pick up all of the lace details that I will add in the makeup later. Using more wire to get it in place. The next piece I've had my eye on from the start is a skeleton finger from an old ring and it picks up the theme pretty nicely. I decided that I wanted to add something extra and put together a chin piece. This is to get the feel of the mask worn by the ancient Aztecs at the Living Dead celebrations. Application time! I have made my hair super fluffy with a volume monster, and now I am back combing it to make it even bigger. Lioness. About here is where I want my headpiece. 
so I'm pinning down my hair just to kind of make room for it. White hairspray. For this part of the tutorial, you kind of need to not breathe and spray away. The hair is ready and it's time to put the handmade headpiece in place. Fighting my resting bitch face and applying white grease paint all over my face. And don't forget your ears, and I'm also going over my neck and chest with white. To set the base, I'm going over everything with NYX HD Finishing Powder. I made a sketch of my look, and as shown, I will enhance all of my facial features starting with the temple bones. Marking out the places I want to enhance with, and listen to this crazy name. NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On. Definitely a turn on, waterproof, extreme shine, eyeliner in black. For the cheekbones, I want an extra sharp and hollow out look, so I'm making the first line pretty straight, and then I'm drawing a diagonal line towards my hairline. And I'm going for a skinny skeleton look, so I'm making thin ribs pointing upwards. I will shade all the lines in a very cartoony way, starting with the NYX eyeshadow in the shade Raven, trying to keep the lines sharp and adding the most pigment close to the line and fading outwards. I'm pressing down with a brush and smudging the color. This works very well when you have a cream base. Sharp line, smudge, and drag the color. Ribs. Doing the lower shade of each rib first, adding deeper pigment where the rib starts, and then dragging out the color just to get a nice fade. I will clean up lines later, so just smudge away. With a concealer brush, I'm erasing smudges and lines at once. And deeper black. This is NYX Matte Eyeshadow in Strict. With a smaller brush, I'm going over everything again just to deepen the shade and this time I'm keeping it closer to the line. And by that I mean that I'm not smudging it as far out as I did before. And for the nose, I'm using a angled brush. This is easier when you have smaller things to work on, kind of. <laughs> I want a lot of contrast so you don't want to be afraid to go dark. Focusing extra on the deepening by the ribs and getting that 3D going on the neck as well. Mm, brows. The NYX brow brush with a stripped eyeshadow. I usually do almost a, like a unibrow and then I do the fade dabbing on some concealer. And this time I'm doing the same thing but I'm using white grease paint. I will then use a concealer brush and this is to clean up the lines and get a nice highlight. Finally, eyes. To make the pigment stick, I'm starting by covering the lid with NYX eyeshadow primer. This color popping NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Brights got a nice light yellow that I used to mark out my crease. I'm fading it up and out for big eyes. NYX Primal Colors in Hot Orange to deepen the crease using a small brush. Using a fluffier brush, I'm alternating between yellow and orange to fade them together. I want the eyes to pop since I'm keeping the rest of the makeup black and white, so I'm applying pink underneath my eyes and doing a big, long fade. Covering half my lid up to the crease with NYX Jumbo Pen in Milk 
and then I'm setting it with HD finishing powder. Back to black. I'm applying black to the outer corner of my eye for a big eye look and then I'm fading it along the crease. Continuing underneath my eye, but no fading just yet. Applying NYX eyeshadow in Skinny Dip with a fluffy brush to hollow out and drag the eyes down. I want an uplifting feel to the upper lid, and then I want a gothic feel underneath the eye. So I'm fading the colors carefully together. A NYX liquid liner giving myself a nice wing. I curl my lashes so that they will go together with the fake ones I'm putting on later. One coat more to love Lush Lashes mascara just to make my lashes black. Time for falsies. NYX Wicked Lashes in Cruel. Cutting them so the size fits. And carefully applying them using tweezers. Double up. Again, I want big eyes, so I'm adding lower falsies too. Mascara to brush them together. Darkening the new lower lash line with the Raven Shadow. The face needs some more popping color, so I am lining my lips with NYX Ombre Lip Liner in Razzle and Dazzle. Finishing my lips with NYX Liquid Suede in Orange County. I like the feel of chokers, so I'm putting on like a lace fabric thing that I've kept since the beginning of time or something. <laughs> This is a part of a feather boa I thought would give a dramatic look to my headpiece. I felt like the makeup needed deeper colors, so I put on more of the pink, the orange and the black using a fluffy brush just to fade it all even better. These stickers I have had for years, and I thought this was just the perfect makeup for them. Dabbing black lash glue on them and putting them in place with tweezers. What would Day of the Dead be without flowers? I actually painted these ones with watercolors to match the look. Outlining the last part of this makeup with a brown NYX gel liner. This eye-pleasing ultimate shadow palette in warm neutrals got a light brown that I will use for a 3D effect. Again, keeping the pigments close to the line and fading outwards. Going for a darker brown to deepen the shade. Blending. Using the Raven Shadow to shade towards the skeleton skin. Same procedure, deepening the shade with a darker tone.
When I'm done blending, I clean up the lines with white paint. I'm keeping the white part extra thick since I'm adding blood later. Putting on my homemade Aztec inspired chin piece. Colada blood. This I will apply along all of the 3D cracked skin. And just a little bit runny blood as a finish. I hope you like this look. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial.